30. When a child is sick, it can be challenging to make them feel better and even more so make them smile. That's why Rady Children's Hospital has created a canine care program. CBS News 8's Jeff Sebley joins us from Rady Children's with one of the many dogs that visit more than 13,000 patients a year. Jeff, who do you have there with you? Carlo, this is Hops, and he reminds me of why I love my Ugg boots on a cold winter day. You're right, oftentimes as adults and parents, we don't know what to say to sick children, especially when they have cancer. And that's why Hops is so good at his job. When he visits sick kids, he doesn't say anything at all. Look who's here for you. Eight-year-old Lindsay Parks suffered a stroke that stifled her speech. But there's something about a Labradoodle jumping into her bed that makes her communication crystal clear. He loves you. Lindsay's mom, Arion, says her second grader's first choice on the road to recovery is dog therapy. Absolutely. I just see her just light up and just um, connect with the dogs. And um, it just... Hi, Lindsay. Hi. I feel like she's just getting so much care. <laughs> 33 therapy dogs roam the halls at Rady Children's. All of the handlers are volunteers. Do you want to pet him? Who aren't paid anything for their time. Nope. Justin smiles. Yeah, it's <laughs> Would you like to meet Hops today? Laura and Jeff are husband and wife, and together with their dog Hops, too. they are the feel-good family go. delivering joy <laughs> from room to room. I love coming. It's probably the best part of my day. What's this say about Jeff? <laughs> Sorry, buddy. <laughs> Get well cards, flowers, and balloons are nice, but there's something about a dog that reminds a patient there's a life waiting for them outside of the hospital. Shake, shake. Yeah! Oh, good boy. 14 year old Shelby Arroyo was enjoying her freshman year in high school with lots of friends and potential to play college softball. Suddenly, she's battling leukemia with chemotherapy. It just makes me tired in a way, and it causes me to have nausea. Which is why Shelby loves to shut it all off and run her fingers through the ultimate pillow pet. It just makes you feel like happy, I guess. Like, oh my gosh, like a dog, and especially when they're really cute. Hops is such a celebrity here at the hospital. It's hard to get him from room to room because he gets mobbed by all the employees. The more we do this, the more we want to do this. Hopping from bed to bed, Hops has a way of making this hospital feel like a home. What do you think about him being in your bed? I like that. After two surgeries, nine-year-old Giselle Garcia is about to head home. Do you want another cookie? And the hope is Lindsay Parks will be right behind her. The minute he jumped in her bed, she just started giggling and just nonstop. I think it really helped make her day. The canine care program here at Rady Children's Hospital has a two-year waiting list, and let me explain what that means. That means the hospital has too many volunteers with too many dogs that want to come down here and donate their time to make kids smile. So how's that for some good news? It's wonderful news. You know, we love dogs, but when you see the effect they have on those children, Jeff, they're almost magical. It is, and what was interesting, Barbara Lee, We'd walk in, and if you went in with the TV crew to an adult that was sick and they wanted you there, they would say, hey, how are you? How's the news business? How's Barbara Lee Edwards? But these kids would just kind of stare at us. What's the news crew doing here? Hops would walk in, big smiles, and he would just change the entire mood. Only dogs can do that. Oh, he's got a wonderful presence. Great program. Thanks for the story, Jeff. Thanks, Jeff. You got it love hops <laughs> great wouldn't love it be nice face. to know what hops or, or your dog was thinking all the time i know i have a retrieve